the next 60 days, you're about to see prices drop pretty dramatically. What we're about to discuss is a headline you're not going to hear about until the first week in September. And that's crazy, but truly, I'll show you why in this video. Now, the truth is, it's not magic, okay? I don't know where prices are heading after this. But when we look at the leading indicators, we have some very strong indication of where they're heading over the next two months. And, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Like the Trump effect, I don't know what's going to happen. I can speculate. I'll give you some thoughts towards the end of this video. But let's focus right now on what is happening, why prices will drop, where in Nashville is the pain, and where is it still strong. And then I'll come back and give my opinion to buyers and sellers. Now, before we hit the leading indicators, let's take a look at this chart of transactions. Closed volume has dropped 23% from 2022 to now. This is a dramatic drop. But what's interesting about it is it stabilized from last year. Now, when most people look at this, they begin to think, oh, okay, transaction volume is stabilized. It's a new normal. Everything's okay, right? Wrong. You see, demand for housing under 700,000, that's one and a half times the median. That's 80% of all buyers. It's actually still dropping. It dropped another three and a half percent compared to last year. And what makes this so astonishing is demand for $1 million houses has grown 20% year over year not only fully recovering from the dramatic drop that happened last year, but demand is hitting new all-time highs. So don't let anyone tell you mortgage rates aren't impacting demand. It is 100% false. It is dramatically impacting 80% of buyers, while the top 20% aren't even phased by it. Now, this is also while median price has been increasing. You see, if demand for $1 million homes have been taking a much larger share of the total transaction volume, while other buyers are unable to buy, then of course, median price will go up. That doesn't mean home values are going up. So we've seen both price appreciation and the fact that there's more million dollar sales pushing up median prices here in Nashville. But this needs to be said, lower priced housing has demand issues. We have increasing supply in the face of demand that's dropping year over year over year. But in the million dollar neighborhoods, we have supply problems. And what I mean by that is even though demand is so robust, even though demand has completely recovered, million dollar neighborhoods are popping up in scorching other established neighborhoods. There is no greater example of this than what happened in Ladd Park. They had houses going from 1.5 million and even as high as 1.8 million in 2022. Now, the peak is barely hitting 1.3 million. That is a massive drop. Even as demand grows, this is all hyperlocal. It's why there are still some price points in areas that are still seeing strong price growth even as neighborhoods get crushed. And now what we are seeing is peak demand is behind us for the year. Supply continues to grow and sellers are getting very nervous this year. Look at this listing. I love this listing. It went live yesterday and the seller across the street immediately dropped their price $50,000 uh, from what appears to be competition. Now you think that seller is motivated? You think that they're freaking out right now that someone priced a house right across the street from them? Yes, and they're moving ready. They might have two mortgages. We just don't know the situation, but clearly they're nervous. But why do I like the other listing better? It's simple. It's a bit overpriced. The inside is below average, but it's got an assumable FHA mortgage. Now, this doesn't mean you need to get an FHA mortgage. You just need to be able to qualify for a mortgage and you can assume an FHA loan. Now, sellers don't want to do that. But after it's been sitting for a few weeks, which this one might, they'll be open to lower prices and mortgage assumption. One of the biggest false narratives is that somehow you have to pay more for mortgage assumption. And that's just simply not true. I didn't see that in either one of the ones that I've helped with. But what is it about this house that tells us more broadly what's going on in the market? It's price cuts. You think the house across the street would cut another 25 to 50K just to get their house sold? 
You bet they would. They're done. They have equity and they want to move. And that becomes a comp in this neighborhood, a comp that isn't even under contract yet, which is why we know this house will likely go under contract and close in August. And you won't see it until the news reports August closings in the first week of September. And this is how the sell cycle goes. This is why we can use price cuts to forecast a drop in median price. You see, price cuts lead to more price concessions and and price concessions lead to falling prices. So how many houses have now cut their price in Nashville? Well, in the greater Nashville area, we have blasted through the 35% mark and now we are up to 36% of all active listings cutting their price. Last year, we didn't hit 36% until late October. June isn't even finished yet. This is a much higher than even 2022 when prices dropped rapidly. And this is why many of the big names like Zillow, Redfin, Altos, they're all revising down their forecast because they can see it coming too. This is making sellers nervous. And that's why we can look at this chart, we can invert the price cut percentage, push it out 60 days, overlay the median price, and know that prices are indeed about to drop dramatically. Now, just how much, it's it's not completely clear, but it's pretty easy to see that a $30,000 drop from peak, which peak was in the middle of the month, it's about 515, that would put us in the 480s. That's a very realistic price drop for what we're seeing in the price cuts. Now, what does this mean for you as a buyer or a seller. Now, as a buyer, you have the upper hand in most situations right now in Nashville. This means you can make very aggressive offers, but you still have to be mindful of the market. Now, what does that mean? It, lowballing a house that that just listed is pretty unrealistic. But let's take the house on Kenner that we just looked at. If I were advising a buyer, I would look at the absolute lowest comp in the neighborhood, and I would use that to make an offer, in this case, around $245 a foot. That would put this house at $675,000. Now, if I'm a qualified buyer and I can close quick, chances are they may not take that offer, but they'll counter. And see, you have the upper hand. The fact that you can offer that without completely getting dismissed shows that we're in a buyer's market. And I'd be very happy to get this under 700,000 from a sales comp perspective. Now, rentals aren't allowed in the neighborhood, so it's a bit harder to consider that, but you can look broadly and get an idea of what that house would likely rent for and then compare that to your mortgage payment. But the truth is, I would want the other one, the one where you can assume the mortgage. I would want to get that house for 250 or 275 a foot and assume the mortgage. That would be a great deal. Would they do it? I don't know. You'd have to ask, but it's possible. And it just depends on how many showings they're getting. You know, if they're not getting any showings and they need to move on, it's very possible that they would entertain the idea of dropping their price and letting you assume the mortgage. But if you are going to assume a mortgage, you do need someone experienced in doing it because you will need to convince the seller that you can in fact do it, that you know the process, that you can give them a reasonable timeline and that you can do it well and set expectations for both buyer and seller. You'll also need a larger than average down payment, in this case, closer to $300,000. And that's kind of a lot for most people. That's well above 20%. So look, I can tell you we are hitting a buyer's market much earlier than last year. And I can tell you that sellers are more nervous than they were last year. But the truth is, is I have no idea what's going to happen to prices after this. When Trump won the election in 2016, there was panic in the stock market. I don't know if you remember this, but I clearly do. I remember seeing the futures market showing like 5% down or something crazy. It was panic. Okay, but by the end of the first trading day, as him president-elect, the market was way up. People got very bullish and maybe even inflationary. You know, I'm not going to speculate, but the point is, 
is people became very bullish on the market and that completely changed the dynamic. Now, our housing market is the same way. It's very pessimistic right now. And certainly prices don't make sense in a lot of ways, especially when you compare rent to mortgage payment. But what I can't tell you is what's going to happen after these leading indicators. The market could change on a dime from a number of scenarios, and I've seen it happen in the past two years. Instantly, just like the money printing of 2020 changed the housing market from panic selling to panic buying overnight, anything could happen. So while prices are clearly headed down right now and sellers are very nervous, I'll let you decide if you want to wait like many buyers think they should. They're going to wait it out. They think it can continue dropping. But I would caution you about being overconfident because just remember the money you are using to buy a house, it's monopoly money, okay? There's some dude in DC that can add a zero to a spreadsheet and hand it out like Oprah giving away cars, all right? We just don't know the future, and I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You can look at the data, you can decide for yourself. I'm not gonna tell you, but what I can tell you is in most situations, buyers have the upper hand right now, and they can ask for way more than they could last year at this time. If you're a seller, I think sellers are more nervous than they should be, my personal opinion, but they are very nervous right now, and that will create comps that don't look great from a seller's perspective. That being said, Nashville has huge inbound migration. It is a great place to hold a hard asset that will move up with inflation over the long term. With that, I hope you have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next Saturday.